Hey guys, TJ and Dave here from Gemini Fitness and Combat. Uh, we had to take two weeks off. I was gone in Serbia competing for a USA grappling team. Now I'm back, so we should be back on schedule. Fingers crossed. I don't have fingers. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about passing the guard. Well, for, for us talking previously about passing the guard, you get to side control. You shouldn't have multiple options once you're in a dominant position to finish the match, right? So you have your guard break, guard pass. Now we're, we're going to establish side control and what options we have from there. So Dave lays down. So I just pass guard, I turn, now I'm in side control. First thing that he should be looking to do is turning to his side and shrimping, right? Now typically, his bottom hand is gonna be the one that's coming through and that's what's gonna be framed on the hip, on the knee, on the chest, wherever he places it. So this is the one we're gonna attack first, just because it's easier to assess. Once I'm here in side control, I'm controlling the elbow, keep my head tight. I'm looking to control the hip, and when I pull up, I'm going to a knee on belly position inside of the armpit area. So my knee should be pointing towards his chin across the chest. So if I'm here, I'm going up and here. My weight's down on him. The other leg should be able to step over, I should have full control. My elbow alone, when I fall, I can get the arm bar. However, we're going to switch it up, control down, pinch your knees, give me a thumbs up, dude. This means it's okay to break it, and you get your first finish. Now, if I'm here, I go for my first position. He's side, he's going down this, uh, to shrimp. And I pull this up and he pulls his arm back down towards him. I can no longer attack that bottom arm. This top arm is coming through. I'm looking for the tricep or the elbow and I'm not trying to bring it towards me necessarily, but I definitely want to bring it up. When it gets away from his ribs, that's where I can insert my other side, or my knee on the other side. So when I step over, over the head, pinch my shin, I'm sorry, pinch my thighs, dropping my chin in the armpit, and then still attacking the elbow, find my second finish. Now, for whatever reason, north-south, people are afraid of it. If you go north-south, you don't have control of their hips or whatever it is, and people suck at it on top. If you're on bottom, you're like, oh no, I don't know what to do. It's not really, it's just that face person, right? And when you're on bottom. When you're on top, you have two arms that you get to isolate from. So if I go here for my first option, and he turns to his side, doesn't happen. Second option, I go here, he goes flat, or even if he just goes flat, I'm moving to north-south. First thing that people do is they stick their hands up in some kind of fashion. Neck, hips, arms, all kinds of options. My goal is ultimately to find the space between the elbow and his ribs, and I'm gonna slide one of my knees into either side. So that way you guys can see it, I'll go back to this side. Controlling the elbow, shifting my knee back into the armpit, pointing my knee towards his chin, take another step, step back over. So, the whole goal and premise and thought is that once I get to a dominant position, having multiple answers for his defenses when you attack him. When you figure all that out, you can search the bridge the rest of your game all together, and then you look like a certified badass. Um, if you have any questions, or comments, leave them below. We'll get to them as soon as we can. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for your time.